Today we're here to talk about six string theory. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible competition that um, started as a one-off, but it's now in its sixth, sixth, year. sixth year. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah, it started in 2010. It was uh, annual for a few years, and then it got so expanded that uh, it's biannual now. So we're in our sixth uh, version of it. The thing we're up against now is that the uh, deadline for entries is May 31st. Yeah, yeah. sixstringtheory.com, really easy to find. And uh, uh, just go up on the, the site, uh, self-explanatory. You have to submit two YouTube videos. Uh, they shouldn't be more than five minutes in length. Uh, it's thirty-five dollars to join up. Uh, you uh, you can use an existing video that you already have. You can obviously do something brand new. You can record to tracks. Uh, if you're a guitar player, you can join in six different categories: jazz, rock, blues, acoustic, classical, and rhythm. And um, uh, so the six guitar categories. There, everyone's a winner in each category. So there'll be six guitar winners. And then it's expanded the last few years to include piano, bass, and drums. And it's an absolute who's who of um, guitar players. So, so what's cool about it, even if you don't win, it's like these all these amazing judges, and there's an equal amount of amazing drummers and bass player and keyboard judges, they, they get to check out your stuff. And is there any sort of gig at the end of it? Is there one actual celebratory gig? So uh, the nine winners, the six guitar players, one in each category, and the uh, piano, bass, and drums. They, uh, the first thing that'll happen is in uh, July, the winners will get to go to St. Moritz, Switzerland, which wow. is a beautiful place on the top of uh, Switzerland and play at the St. Moritz Jazz Festival, a very cool festival. And, and I'll put together an evening where they'll play with me and they'll play with one another and, and uh, it'll just be a, a very cool event. Later on in the year, they'll get to go to Tokyo and wow. play at the Blue Note uh, right. with wow. me. And uh, uh, and again, we'll have a rehearsal over there. There's usually three days of stay. All the transportation and per diem and hotel, everything's provided. And uh, uh, it's just a, a last uh, two years ago when the the guys went to Japan, uh, they just loved it. You know, right. a couple of years back, they uh, the players got to open for me at the Montreux Jazz Festival. Wow. And um, and then this year, besides going to Saint Moritz and to Tokyo. Uh, come January 2019, Yamaha will bring all nine players out to Los Angeles and uh, the six guitar players and the piano, bass and drums will be clinicians at the Yamaha booth right. uh, demonstrating instruments for three days. Then there will be a recording session up at this beautiful studio in Malibu here, Richard Gibbs Place, uh, Woodshed Studios, and yeah. uh, we'll do a recording session there. Uh, and then I plan probably a uh, create a gig for the guys in LA at the Baked Potato or the Blue Whale or something right. like that. And uh, so there's just, uh, so we, we're sort of celebrating for six months with the guys, you know, and, and our girls. It's, uh, it's, it's really a, a wonderful thing. And then there's the Berkeley uh, competition and then there's some other uh, sponsors involved as well, which are great. It's all a non-profit foundation and uh, we're doing it with a lot of love and care. Lee Rittenow, thanks so much. All right, thank thanks, you, mate. Buddy.